Welcome back to the channel for another how to tech topic and today's video how to control your Xbox using your Google Home or as they are now known the Google Nest Ranger products. Let's get straight into it. First of all let's start with which Xboxes can be controlled by the Google Assistant. The Xbox One, the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X, as well as the Xbox Series S and Series X. Unfortunately, the Xbox 360 is not supported. It's time to fire up your Xbox and go to your settings page. And there are two ways to get there. The easiest way, if you can already see it, is selecting the settings icon in your main page. If that's not available to you, the other way is from the menu system along the top left of the page. To access that, press the Xbox button on your controller and then scroll across to the right until you're at Profile and System. Then scroll down and select Settings. Once you're in the Settings menu, scroll down to Devices and Connections and select Digital Assistance. Put a tick in the Enable Digital Assistance tick box. After that, there is only one more setting on the Xbox to change, and that's the Power Up option. Scroll back up to the General tab and change the Power Mode from Energy Saving to Instant On. And that's all we need to do on the Xbox. It almost seems way too easy. Now it's time to make the necessary changes to our Google Home software. Start up your Google Home app and select Settings. Then scroll down and select Works with Google. In my case, you can already see I have some devices, but now I need to add the Xbox. I can tell you that there's hundreds of devices to scroll through and it would take you ages to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find Xbox. So instead, click the search button at the top and just type it in manually. You'll be prompted to enter your Microsoft account details. Once connected and authorised, Google Assistant will link to your Xbox account. Once added, just assign the Xbox to a room. Click Done and that's it. Before we start testing, here's a list of some of the commands you can ask the Xbox to do. Hey, can you turn on the Xbox, please? Hey, <coughs> launch Netflix on Xbox. Hey. Launch Forza Motorsport 7 on Xbox, please. Hey. Launch Limbo on Xbox, please.
a <laughs> launch YouTube on Xbox. Okay, launching YouTube on Xbox. Hey, <laughs> launch World of Tanks on Xbox. Sure, that device has been updated. Hey, <laughs> launch Disney Plus on Xbox, please. All right, launching Disney Plus on Xbox. Hey, <laughs> launch Trials HD on Xbox, please. Hey, <laughs> launch Star Wars Battlefront on Xbox, please. And there you go. For some reason Star Wars Battlefront would always try and get me to buy a new copy even though it's installed and the disc is in the drive. If you have any idea why or you've had the same thing happen to you, please let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for joining us and I hope this video has helped you get your Xbox and Google Assistant working together. Now it's time to ask you to hit those buttons. The like button, the subscribe button, the notification button, and even the button button. Just hit all the buttons. I've only got one more command left for the Xbox, but before I say it, I'll say thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Hey, turn off the Xbox, please.